Hi boys and girls, this is Mr. Klum. Today we're going to be continuing our conversation about heating and cooling and how heating and cooling things makes things change. So when you heat something up or when you cool it off, it changes. The importance of learning this is to uh, think about what happens on a natural sunny day in Texas when it's really, really hot outside. And if I go outside and I decide to try to eat ice cream, if I try to eat my chocolate ice cream from the store, I better eat it fast or the heat outside will cause it to melt. And then all of a sudden I won't have ice cream. I will have milk instead of ice cream. So that definitely changes from a solid to a liquid. Um, it will change shape if I get different colors of uh, different because of different flavors. Then the, even the colors will start changing because it'll start getting an ooey gooey. So it's very important to think about these things so that it doesn't happen to you. Um, all right, so let's look at the first one. As you read this passage, what you do is you come down here to the word bank, and we look at the words melt color change and evaporate and these words will go in the blanks above so let's read the first sentence together what happens to a popsicle on a sunny day it will blink of course well the first option says melt does that make sense yes if i take it out if i take a popsicle outside on a sunny day it will definitely melt it will become a liquid and then all of a sudden, no longer a popsicle. Now, let's just check and make sure that that makes sense. So let's check the other three and make sure that we're not wrong. So what happens to a popsicle on a sunny day? It will color, of course. I use this option right here. Does that make sense? It will color. No, that doesn't make any sense because the only people that color are you and me, not popsicles. I've never seen a popsicle pick up a marker occurring on in color. So that's definitely not it. What happens to a popsicle on a sunny day? It will change, of course. Now that's an okay answer because it does change, but I think it will go better. The word change will go better in a different one. If we put change there, then we have to put melt somewhere else. And um, I don't know if it would make sense or not. All right, so how about evaporate? What happens to a popsicle on a sunny day? It will evaporate, of course. No, that don't make sense because evaporate is when uh, it rains for a, a little while and then the clouds go away, the sun comes out and the puddle of water will go into the clouds. So do popsicles evaporate and go into the clouds? No. So that's definitely not it. So... How about melt? So we will type in melt right there. It will melt, of course. All right, let's go in what we do over here is we color that in. Or put a line through it, either way. You can put a line through it, it might be easier, faster. So I put a, I put a little Mark through it to remind me, hey, Mr. Clum, don't use that word again. Use a different we'll use one of the other three. Use a different word. Alright. So it will melt, of course. Heating materials causes them to color in many different ways. Does that make sense? Heating materials will cause them to color. Now that don't make any sense. Heating materials causes them to evaporate. In many different ways. No, that don't make sense. Our heating materials causes them to change in many different ways. Yes, that makes sense. So change goes in the blank. When heated, oh, I gotta mark off my answers. Always could go do that before you forget. And then you're like, what words did I use? 
Yeah, it'll help me at the end because I'll know what's left. So whatever's left has to go in the last blank. So that's actually a good thing. All right, here we go. In many different ways, when heated, some materials may melt or color. No, sorry. You can't. <laughs> materials don't color. We use materials to color, but materials themselves may, may not melt or color. That don't make sense. How about evaporate? Yes. Some materials evaporate. So, like I said, rain, after a long time, um, it'll... After a lot of rain, it'll get cloudy for a little while and then get sunshine. And then the sunshine, the heat will cause the water to evaporate or go into the sky and turn to clouds again and repeat. So evaporate. So let's mark off the other option. Let's mark off this option. It's okay if I use a different color. It don't matter. I want to show you that I'm marking it off so I do not use it again. I can only use this, the words once. So the last one says heat can also cause changes in the size. Oops, I marked the wrong one. Sorry, boys and girls. I'm like that one instead of the other one. Silly Mr. Clum. I, I wrote down evaporate and then marked out color instead. Oops. All right. So be careful of that. I've seen boys and girls do that too. So they pulled a Mr. Clum. Be careful of that. All right. He can also cause changes in the size, color, shape, and texture of a material. Yes, color goes in that box. As I color it yellow. There you go. So now I have all four filled in. I don't need to mark that out because I already did. Um, but you can only use the words once in each blank. So those are my first four. Now it says to draw a picture of a material that has been changed by heat. So, for example, what I could do is I can come up here to my shapes and I'm going to pretend that this is an ice cube. And as we talked about the other day, there's a puddle of water around it. And I'm going to color that blue. But it won't. Yeah. Color that blue. I'm going to show water. All right. And there's the ice cube. The ice cube's white um, or clear, usually. I don't think I can do clear on here. So as the ice cube is put on a table, and it gets hotter because the ice cube's really, really, really cold, but the table's not freezing cold. So it will melt slowly, and then it will turn into a puddle of water. So this is an example of a material that has been changed by heat. Okay. So you will do pages two and three on your own. I would go ahead and write down my answers for page one. To make it easier for yourself, you will do pages two and three on your own. Hit the submit assignment box and either take a picture or write in your answers in the text box below. All right. Have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.